What's going on? It's Rick from CodeWithIntent.com coming at you with another video. And in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at Animate.CSS. And I'm gonna be showing you how to create this freaking awesome slider. So by the end, we're gonna have a slider working like this one here where we have an animation of moving an image across the, the screen and then pulling in another image here. So by the end, we're gonna have this slider complete. We're gonna be done with Animate.CSS. So let's get into it. And just for the few that have not been here before, pretty much you can select a bunch of different animations. You can see here there's, I don't know how many there are here. There's a lot of them. So you can just select an animation and you can see what they actually do. I think some of the cool ones are like the roll in ones like that, roll out and then Jack in the Box. I mean, there's a bunch of different animations you can do here. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and click here on the GitHub link. I'll drop you guys the link below so you can go ahead and check it out. And here's the GitHub account. And what I'm gonna do here is you can either install it with Bower or with NPM. I installed it with NPM in my project and that's the one we're gonna be using. So pretty much you just run that command and that drops into your node modules. You can just cup it over to your public directory and you'll be able to reference it. And you'll be able to reference it just with this, uh, just a link style sheet that works perfectly fine. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna start up my server so we can actually take a look at this. So let's do inspect here, refresh. There we go. And then if we do a head, here it is. So right here. So animate, see if I can make this a little bigger so you guys can see this. Right here, CSS, animate CSS, and I have added that into my project. So pretty much that's the way you can go ahead and add it to your project. Just use a style sheet tag and either install it with Bower or NPM. All right, so once you have that set up, you're pretty much ready to go. You can add in a class to an image and it will go ahead and actually do it. So let's go over here to my project. I'm gonna pull in that home directory and then here's that image that I have. And then all you have to do is to add the the ability to animate something, you just have to add these three classes. So actually two classes. And here's all the classes that are available for you. So, you know, there's so many of them here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna copy animated, add the class there, and then I want the first one to fade in. So fade in, it's going to be here. There we go. And fade in, save that, come back over here. And there it is. You can see it fades in. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Just to make sure it works, let's see if we can do a bounce out. Say that. There you go. Not so cool because, you know, we probably want to do a bounce in because the image is showing up first. Let's do that one. Okay, pretty cool. Nice. So that's pretty cool that we got that working. Now we actually want to go ahead and make that slider that I showed you when the video started. So. The way we're gonna make that slider is we're gonna go ahead and select our fade in option here, which is right here. Cause that's what the first image we wanted to fade in. And we wanna go ahead and bring in all of our images. So I'm gonna go back over here. So three, four, five, I know I have five images and I'm gonna go ahead and give them a uh, right here. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be image two. There we go. Image two, image three image four and then image five and let me rename these real quick two three four and five so now if we come back over here we don't want to fade all of them in so let's get rid of all those get rid of that and we only want it here animated fade in like that there we go so we have all of our images here well there, it's the same image. <laughs> so we gotta come back over here, edit this images. Three, four, and five. Okay, so here's all our five different images here. And on the top, we still have this one fading in, which is how we want that one. And we also wanna hide these images because we don't wanna, you know, show them when they're not actually ready to be shown. So I'm gonna do hidden on all of them here like this. And then I'm gonna go over to my CSS file and I'm going to define a new class right here, hidden and display none. There we go. So if we come back, refresh, perfect. So now we just have one image and it has the animation of fade in 
and it's working the way we want it to. Perfect. But now we actually want to go ahead and change this up a little bit. We want to actually uh, do something a little bit different here. Now, don't mind this code. That's just extra code stuff. We don't need to worry about that. We just, we're right here right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set a timeout, set timeout. And the timeout, I'm going to send it, set it for, let's say after, actually not a timeout. We actually want to do a set interval and let's set it for three seconds, three seconds. There we go. So every three seconds, we're going to be doing something. So what do we want to do every three seconds? Well, we want to grab this image and we want to remove it. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to grab this image. So image one, so I'm going to say product dot product, and I'm going to grab image one like this. And then I'm going to say dot add a class and the class we're going to add is going to be, uh, I think the one we were having was called, let's see, slide out right. Maybe. Yep. That's the one. So we're going to go over here mm, slide out, right. And then like this. So if we do this, let's get rid of this interval. We don't do it yet. Well, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it in there. So we're going to add this class, but before we add the class, we do need to remove a class. Uh, let's go back over here, remove class. And the one we're going to remove is going to be called the fade in, which is the one we originally set. So we remove the fade in class and we're going to add in the class of slide out after three seconds. So let's do that. One alligator, two alligators, three alligators. What happened? We didn't get a slide out. Oh, there we go. There's the problem. I need to make sure there are classes that could help. So there we go. One alligator. There it is. Okay. So that works, right? Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to happen there. And every three seconds is going to be doing this thing over and over and over again. So what we want to do here now is once it, once it actually slides out, right? Once it actually, you know, finishes, uh, animating with the slide out animation, they actually have a callback function you can run, which is this one here. Uh, where is it right here? So you can say something like var animated end, and then you can go ahead and uh, run an animation after this actually completes. So I'm going to come back over here, grab this like this, and I'm going to copy this. Actually, it's going to be right here. One. There we go. That, and then we're gonna remove this, and we're gonna say something like done animating. And if we come back over here, there you go, done animating. Perfect. So we can actually capture the event once that image finishes off animating, and we can go ahead and do something else like animate the next image. But I, I went down this path already and it doesn't quite work exactly the way you want because we're inside this interval of uh, sliding images in and out. So it's not going to work the way you expect. Just a quick note here. Uh, if you're going to be going down this path, uh, just know that if you're going to be inside of interval, there's multiple things that can happen here and you have to do a bunch of different weird logic. So I'm not even going to go down that path, but if you're for your case, something more simple like this, you know, that perfectly works fine. So you can go down that way and do it this way. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna do it a little bit different. I'm going to come back over here, get rid of this, get rid of this. And I'm gonna create a variable here. And so I'm gonna call it last image. And I'm gonna set that equal to one, okay? And here, instead of saying hard coding it there, I'm gonna say this plus last image. Just like that like that. Perfect. So that's going to go ahead and slide it out. And after that, we want to set a timeout. Now we actually want to set a timeout here and the timeout we're just going to send it for one second like this. So after one second, we want to go ahead and uh, show the next image. So uh, after three seconds, we show that image and then we want to show the next image after that image. So we want to go ahead and pretty much uh, also do this right here. So we're going to say something like this line here. And after we 
complete animating the slide out right, we actually want to go ahead and remove it. Remove the slide out right, like this. And we also want to remove uh, the other class, which was uh, animated like that. And once we remove those two classes, then now the only other option we have is to hide it. Because just because we're not seeing it doesn't mean it's not shown. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do hidden and I'm going to add the class of hidden. And if you go into CSS theme, you see here hidden is displayed none. Perfect. So if we come back over here, uh, let's go to our elements, do a refresh here, inspect this one. Boom. Now it's hidden. We still have image one and it's hidden. So perfect. That's the way we want to do. That's actually doing what we want it to actually do. So uh, it removes the slide out and animate it and then adds a class of hidden. And then once we do that, we actually want to repeat the same process now for the next image. So I'm going to go into here and say something like uh, this right here. We actually want to add the class of hidden, not to the last image, but to the next image, which is going to be image number two, like this, right? Because at this point we have pretty much this uh, runner animation. Our animation has completed and now we actually need to show the next image. So we're going to remove the class of hidden from image number two, and we're going to add the class of fade in like this. And that's going to go ahead and show us image number two. So let's go check it out. There's image number one. There's image number two. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> now we need a way for us to be able to, uh, you know, go through this process over and over again. And, you know, we can go image one, image two, image three, image four, image five, and then loop back to image one, image two, image three, image four, image five. And then we can say something like, last image plus plus and then we can go over here and we say something like if last image is equal to five set last image to one now you can catch it if it gets all the way to the end and then if we come back over here let's check it out image number two image number three Image number four, image number five. Cool. But I actually got this in the wrong place because we need to be able to check, do this check, not here. But once it actually goes ahead and goes through this process of checking every, every single image, we need to verify that we're actually getting the right image. So uh, the way we're gonna do that is by um, coming over here. So right here, when we're doing um, our check, that our check is fine. Uh, we actually have to do right here, when we're at the class, we actually have to add in both the classes of animated and fade in, or else they're not gonna, it's not gonna do what it's supposed to do. So let's go back over here. Let's run this one more time. Image number one, image number two, Image number three, image number four, and then image number five, and then we're gonna get back to image number one now. Oh, we got image number two. Okay, so what we actually wanna do here is we wanna grab uh, the last image. We wanna to add to it before we do the check of if it's greater than five and set it to one. So if we come back and check one more time, we get image number one, image number two, image number three, image number four, and then image number five, and then back to image number one. Perfect. So there you go. That's the slider with animation, animate.css, and you can get super crazy with these. You can go into here and, you know, do a bunch of different things like, you know, if you wanted to do flip and Y, you can go over here, right here. Flip that in Y and then do this. And there you go. Ah, so there you go. If you want, you can go ahead and play around with them. There's a ton of them, depending on what you want to do. This was a little bit, a little bit too much, right? This is a little bit too much, but you know, it is what it is. All right, that's gonna go ahead and do it here for me. If you have any questions, make sure you drop a comment below. If you're new here to the channel, 
smash that like button, click on the subscribe, and I'll see you next time.